Now this capacitor goes into the drain of Q3, so it's time for a new transistor. And this would be the gate pin, so we need to rotate it. And we'll connect it like this. And since that's the drain, that's also going to go to this thing. Okay, so that connect those connections are taken care of there. Uh, off the source, we have similar to over here. There's a bigger, slightly bigger resistor, 1.5k, and another 22 cap. Um, put that there. Rotate it. And we're going to put the resistor up here. And kind of like I was mentioning earlier, we're running out of space here. Just I mean, There's not much we can do about that. It's just the nature of the circuit. So we're going to bump this line up one-tenth. Um, and that's still uh, it's about an inch, inch and four-tenths away, I think from each other so that it's even more room for pot clearance. It's not a big deal. Uh, we need a 1.5K resistor. I'm just going to go to ground. Now something's got to hit, tre this is probably going to be treble. If we're looking over here, the gate hits this 100K resistor out of the second lug of the treble pot. So that'll probably be here. And hey, that's the gate right there. So that works out perfectly. So let's go ahead and put that in. Oh, and this is 1.5. So we can't connect this to ground right there because that'll probably block off um, whatever hits treble one, which is a couple things. 100 end cap and base three which is going to be over here. So that's going to be interesting. Um, but we'll figure that out. We're not there yet. Let's go ahead and connect the gate to this 100K. Connect that to there, because that's how that works. Um, we're going to put the ground there. I'm assuming, I'm guessing, we probably won't put anything above these pads. So we'll just continue the ground plane over there. And we'll connect this to the source. And this cap to ground. Great. Now, what else is going on? Uh, we have a one meg resistor from the gate to ground. We can just connect it right there again. One mag and connect that to the gate. So cool, we have about half of the circuit done um, based on transistors. There's still a lot of components over here we have to deal with. So this is definitely going to be the treble pot. Let me scoot this over some more because I need to see the end of it now. Cool. We have. Let's go ahead and label this. We use the text tool. Centered. This is lug three. Triple. Lug one. So that shows this is lug three. Two is implied. This is lug one of the treble pot. And we'll copy that. Put it down here. This is the volume. Or master is what they what runoff groove named it. 
Great. Now we have the EQ to deal with, which, like I said, is a little funky. And we have treble one connecting to base two and three. So these, if we want this to be the base control, go ahead and label that. Spacing to line up better. So this has to wrap around here, and all the components going to mids, which we'll go ahead and label, have to be able to jump at least that one trace. Right? So, and mid has lugs one and two jumpered as well. And mid one going to ground. All right, not too bad. Um, let's go ahead and see how we're going to, let's just, for now, put this trace, make this connection with these traces. So, what hits treble three is a 250p fair, uh, picofarad capacitor. I'm just going to take this guy, copy it, rotate it, move it down, and revalue it at 250. Cool. So that jumps, or that goes over this trace, which is good. And then we have. Uh, over here we have the 100k resistor that feeds into two capacitors, one going to the base and one going to the mid pot. Um, that comes off of here. So we can go ahead and put that 100k right there. And that connects the bottom here. Nice. So then that from this connection, from this point, we have two capacitors, a 47 NF and a 100 NF. So we can copy this 47. Um, that works, but that kind of cuts us off for the hundred. I'm um, gonna go ahead and rearrange a little bit. Drop this here. Okay. That gives us a room enough room for the hundred cap. Which is a little bigger, especially if you're using the greenies, the big greenie mylar caps, which is what I first used when I started building and um, started laying out stuff for those, that size of capacitor. 100 and they're a little wide too, so they're probably even wider than 0.11 inches, but that's what I use for this and it generally works out okay. Uh, and they're probably about that long. And do span, you know, four holes on perf, three tenths of an inch from from one pin to another. So we can put this, this goes to base two, three over here. So we could put that here like that. Um, base one connects to mids two and three, that's easy. And two and three connect to that. Cool, so we can then connect this up. And hey, our EQ is looking pretty good. Um, so this right here is where the drain and our next big 100K trimmer all connect to. So that's, we'll probably stretch that over here. Oh, and this trimmer here connects to 
9 volts, which connects down to this one. So our voltage rail is starting to look or become at least apparent where it's going to end up. Um, go ahead and label these 100K. 100k and let's go ahead and copy this here that'll work because that's going to be this trimmer for q2 now we got a fair amount of space over here for the well the first two but the last two that we're laying out uh jfet stages and you can see off the source much like these two uh you've got a resistor and capacitor going to ground off the source and um, another resistor going to ground off the drain and that being the input. So over here, let's pull out a new transistor. Um, we'll make that like that and yeah about even yeah right there even with this trimmer. So let's go ahead and mark our pins. Um, this is the gate, source, then drain. Yep. So the drain being closest to our trimmer here, that's convenient because that's where the voltage is coming in. And the voltage rail is over here. So we can connect that. This is, move that over, move this over. This will be where the voltage rail connects. And yeah, this probably makes more sense. There. And put that back. I want to move this over so I can see the rest of the circuit. So we don't need this much room. The circuit's not that big. So we've got the trimmer. And this needs to connect here. So I'm actually going to rotate this around. Move that. And that can connect there. And then voltage will go. Yeah, like that. Except let's, I like the angles. Connect that. Move it back. Perfect. Now we have the source and the gate to figure out. Um, we'll put the one and a half K resistor there. And what else? The 220 or 22. that there, run, ground, continue that around here, just move that all the way down, and then that will connect here and here. And we have our source connections, great. That's done. We have a 220 off the gate, which we can put right there. That's convenient. Connect that. Now this gate connect this the gate goes right in off of volume or gain three. There, you can see there. So that's this. Um, and I don't want to run this straight down like that because then that's two lines where, or two rows where we are completely cut off from using that space. So, undo. I think what we're going to do is we're going to move this, leave that there, and we can, act, if any, any other ground connections, we can either finagle up here or from down here. We should be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the gate to the gain control over here. 
and the edge of the board will be over here and there'll still be enough space that's not a problem so gain one or mat volume one that goes to ground so that can be over here good now we need volume two goes through a 47 n cap copy this bad boy rotate him around using alt and that's that's going to go into the drain of q1 and again we have another 100 100k trim copy paste that's nice and easy we can just connect that there to here and move that over now that's all connected so that's here we now we need to actually put in the transistor we'll just copy this guy and we'll put that that'll work right there now a couple things we need again we have this 1.5k resistor and 22 microfarad cap they go to ground off the source um, could do that a couple different ways we also have the input to worry about that goes straight into the gate now Let's just make the components over here so we know what we have left to populate. 1.5. Uh, oh, I could have copied and pasted that. It's been smarter. And a 1 meg cap. Or 1 meg cap, yeah. 1 meg resistor. So that's all that's left. Also, the input pad and all the wiring. Now. Let's see, how can we run this? We can run, let's say we move, we rotate this. Let's move this over. And put this here. Cause I don't think we're gonna be able to get them like nicely in parallel like kind of over here um, or here but what we can do is move this here wrap the ground around here and we will kind of reorganize this for that but we can run the trace from the positive side of this cap through the source and around to the to the one and a half K good now we have this has got to go to ground which we can do from here cool and then we just got to run the input and make get a pad for that so there's our in pad there's our out pad and our pull down resistor at the input so that's the basics of the circuit oh we still have to connect this to the ground let's oops do that like this good move connect like that and around that's good great so we still have this um, power filter, 100, uh, 100 microfarad capacitor from 9 volt to ground, that we can fit right here. 
and I always add uh, polarity protection diode from voltage to ground. Um, so we'll add that. And this is our voltage here. So let's. That's a 401. And. Run that to ground here. Okay, so we have this will be our nine volt pad. This will be a ground pad. Connect the nine volt on up. Oh, I shouldn't have moved that. All right. And then we have that power filter cap, which we can throw right here. Now, if you're following along at home and you have your um, that component template I showed you at the beginning, a 100 UF cap is pretty big. So I set them at about six and a half millimeter and 100 U. Great. This to ground and good. <laughs>